I will, yes guys, I will now start my walking video again from Jack in the Box. So, Ashford, I will try to get away from but I'm not sure how far I can get. But I will try to sh show you guys how far I can get. Because I'm not leaving Jack in the Box. I then up to Ashford again. The road to the left leads back to Hotwell and Bridgefield, Jackson, Warren, and Bridgeton. And the road to the right leads back to Ashford, Holy Innocent, Jackie Dupont, Bridgeton, Hogley, and Harrison. Looking back to Ashford Long Road, the road to the left leads back to Jack and Boscoli, and the road to the right leads back to Hotwell, Bridgefield, Jackson, Warwick, Sherwin, Church, King Garden, and back to Bridgetown. Yes, guys. My aim is to get a rest point, but I'm not sure how far I can get. But I'll take the guys as far as I can get. Harrison Scare for Virgin Mahogany. All here is Hotwell Tenantry. You can see the sun as well, so I said. All here is Jack in the Box, Lee. This is the last day before the lockdown. The lockdown is on starts on Wednesday, February 3rd. For the country will go on a national pause because of the coronavirus pandemic. Too many cases in Barbados causing the country to go on a pause for a two weeks. We have said it is two weeks, but I'm not sure if it may go over two weeks. Depends on the case and how many more cases are coming in. And too many cases again rising in Barbados. Persons are dying from COVID-19, causing the country to go on national calls.
for it before I get the holy innocent. This is it, heading towards a hot river. Yeah, I did another look back down Ashford Long Road. is in the center of the island and is best known as the central uplands of Barbados or just the heart of person definitely wouldn't have to wait long I mean, I mean wouldn't have to walk on to Ashford to get to the Ashford is quite lonely and deserted there are no houses on Ashford Long Road school and then church let's go to another look again down Ashford The road to the left is Hawkwell Tenantry. This is where the buses come out and go through. The buses come through here on their way back to town and they come through here on their way to Shory Village or Sturges. Yes, guys. On, on, on Ashford, Long Road, St. Thomas. There have been some recent houses built on this road. Yeah. There are some houses on Ashford Long Road. And I look back up to Ashford Long Road again. Okay, these houses are the end. Our recent houses have been built in the area in recent years. And this is the road that leads to Harrison Cave, Rex Mahar Gully, Stony Gully, Holy Innocence Church and School. St. Thomas Post Office and Stony Gully. It also leads to the Flower Forest as well as the parishes of St. Andrew and St. Joseph which are the two hilliest parishes on the island. Oh, I'll ask for a long run. <coughs> Here's a house that's being built. I'm now approaching Holy Innocent School and Church.
Let's go to the road to the left, to the right. This sandbox um, drive at Ashford, where lots of white people live and rich people live. And this is Eagle Point Co. at Ashford. And then again back up to Ashford Long Road. I'm not sure how far I can take you. Yeah, this is Sandbox Drive at Ashford. All here is Ashford, long road, Ashford spelled A Y S H F or R D. Yes, there is now approaching the middle wall for the old Ashford plantation. Okay, this is the middle wall for the old Ashford plantation. Let's go. Ashford, Long Road. No approaching Holy Innocence Church and school. Yes guys, this is the old Ashford Great House here, which is also a private property. Before I stop, this is a good bird's eye view of Hotwell Tenantry. The whole of Ashford, Ashford Long Road. Let's get a bird's eye view. Looking over Hotwell, Jack in the Box. You can see all the way into town, all the way into Warrens, the south and the east of the island. Yes, guys. St. Thomas is in the center of the island, as you said before, along with the parish of St. George, and they are best known as the St. Uh, Thomas, mostly 
best refer to as the central uplands of Barbados or the heart of Barbados. <coughs> Yes, guys. I'm approaching Holy Innocence School and then the church, as I showed you yesterday. school and church look back to Ashford yeah, this is all Ashford in our world the innocence primary school where majority of my family received their primary education especially my aunts great aunts and cousins and so on and the church is next door where some of my relatives attend church and some of them are buried in there such as my great grandparents My parents. So, the Innocence Church has two cemeteries, one in the churchyard right here and one on the opposite side of the church. This is right here but this wall. But they no longer bury persons in the church cemetery, they bury them on the opposite side. Yes guys, so from here you can see the the green building where they keep little functions for the church members and behind there is the bell free for the where the bell tower is where the bell is that's the whole innocent church and this church cemetery right here Entrance right here and the rectory where the priest used to live behind here. And this is the pavilion where persons live cricket and add up sporting activities. <coughs> Yes, good. This is all Ashford Long Road. Now we're approaching about Shimon Hall. Yes, 
There's another post on the solid corner. We will find the air garden coming from the boat and the St. Thomas Post Office. the end of Sally Corner, I mean the end of Ashford Long Road, and now we're approaching Sally Corner. Yes, guys, the straight ahead leads back to Lion Castle and Stony Gully. And the right turn leads back to Harrison's Cave and Westmore Hall Gully. Well, they're coming on the boat. And right here at the St. Thomas Post Office. Currently, it's about the island, which is referred to as the square. And the right turn is Highland, which is the square. And this is where Shimon Hall Community Park. Right here, where the youth in the community play, especially the children. Yes, guys, Shimon Hall Play Park. This is the old gas station, which has been closed down due to issues that were affecting Harrison Cave, and it was forced to close. So it was forced to close. Harrison Cave was all underground, so the pumps from the gas were affecting the cave, and that's what forced it to close. Gas station, which is an SO gas station. Westmore Hall is best referred to as the capital of St. Thomas because it has this shop here. This is two guys swimming park. This is two guys mini mark right here. And there's also a Crumbs Bakery now in two guys as well. Here, I will, here again, I will end the video.
we're gonna end the video on the before we end the video the blue building on the right is Steve Building Works which is a construction company and there's also a doctor's office in there as well and this is where it's my whole church of God Thomas Barbados. for watching and have a blessed evening.